Alright, what is everybody? I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing Jordan 4 White Thunder from DopeSneakers.VIP. I've reviewed three sneakers from their website. They're very nice over there on their website, and I really like the shoes that they offer. It took about a week and a half for these White Thunders to be delivered, which is a good shipping time in my opinion, because sometimes I've had scenarios where other websites took about a couple months. So, but yeah, I'm very interested in these White Thunders. Um, this is the box that they come in. I like how Nike is making multiple colorways in the Jordan 4 Thunder because it's a very good shoe to make multiple colorways on because it's mainly all black with some spots of the Jordan 4 being a different color like red, yellow, or white. Um, when I seen these shoes though, I thought, well, a lot of people are going to like them. So who doesn't like a simple black and white shoe? Alright, now these are looking good. Um, I like how different they feel. They don't feel like a familiar pair of Jordan 4s. And like I said, the quality has always been good with this website. The suede is very smooth. The white really glows on this black because as I'm looking at it, I'm just like noticing how it's like kind of glowing in a way, you know, I like that type of stuff. Something I see in these shoes, I don't really see it as a just simple black and white pair. It almost looks like if the Jordan 4 Thunder, the yellow Thunder, but was in like a black and white movie. It doesn't feel like a normal simple black and white pair. It's probably because of the type of white it is. It has like a matte look to it on the midsole, the lace holes, pretty much every part of the shoe. As I said in the beginning, this is gonna be a shoe a lot of people are gonna like because it's just black and white, nothing crazy. And I like that part of it because black and white is a simple colorway that you can put on pretty much any shoe. It's the right shoe. It's like how the white has that matte look, so does the black. It's, it's just all suede, so it looks kind of like a flat. It's got this flatness to it. I like how simple it is and how it isn't too simple though, you know? The way the white peeks out of the um, cages, that looks good. Once again, it looks like it's glowing a little bit. It has like a um, nice smoothness to it. It's, it's, yeah, that's the word for it. It's very smooth around the whole shoe. Definitely see myself wearing the sneaker a lot because it, it would go with a lot of stuff. Yeah, the Jordan 4 White Thunder are coming out later this year in August. There's a lot of cool sneakers coming out this year, but they're all coming out towards like the end of the year, which really, really sucks in my opinion. Most of the sneakers that I'm looking forward to are coming out later this year. The Jordan 6 Bread, the Jordan 12 uh, Wolf Gray, and Jordan 1 Travis Scott uh, Olive Green. There's a, there's a good amount, honestly. Um, I'm excited to see those because those colorways look good. And most of what's coming out during the spring and summertime I'm not really interested in, besides the Jordan 3 Rio. The um, J Balvin, just like the um, Medellin Sunset, but black and the Sunset part of the shoe is a little bit different looking. So I've been gone for about four to five months. Main reason I've been gone and uh, not making videos is because I just needed a break, a uh, break to go and you know do what I need to do and 
hang out with my family, do that type of stuff. And the main, I would say the main reason why though is because uh, sneakers don't really feel the same anymore. They're starting to, the um, releases are starting to not be as interesting and that type of stuff. Um, and it just feels kind of harder to make these type of sneaker videos because it isn't, doesn't feel as enjoyable and whatever it is doesn't feel the same but um i know i'm not going to be sna uh, making sneaker videos forever but i just feel like things are changing 100 percent like they're they're definitely changing i would like to make as many sneaker videos as i can because i really do like talking about sneakers and you know replicas because they they are the pretty much the only way to get what sneaker you want and um that also I feel like is starting to kind of die down and not feel the same. I used to make a lot of G Feel videos. That's how I started my channel. And that also has been dying down for the past, I will say two years. It hasn't been feeling the same for the past like two to three years. Cause I, I started making those videos in 2019 and then it just started to slowly, um, slowly go down and the thing is with them, they don't really make the same uh, flavors as they used to. Like now it's just, you don't see as much news from them anymore. I'm not saying sneakers are gonna do that same type of thing, but I'm saying it just doesn't have that same fun and excitement anymore. But once again, I'm gonna make as many videos as I can and collaborate with websites and talk about their websites and review sneakers from their websites. And um, once again, I think it's a very cool and fun idea. I just hope whatever it is that made it fun and enjoyable comes back. And same with, um, it's not just the replica websites. It's also, you know, Nike and Jordan. I feel like they need to be a bit more creative with their releases and their sneakers and clothing too, not just their shoes. I feel like they could they can make so many dope sneakers and it's like why don't you make that and i've seen i've seen concept ideas from people who just love sneakers and want to make their own version of it and it's like man you guys should start having that same creativity because without creativity there really is no shoe what is the shoe it's just a shoe at that point there is no fun cool colors to it or cool designs or any of that so i think more creativity and that same excitement and fun needs to come back up. But um also feel like people haven't been buying sneakers and getting into sneakers the way they used to be. Not even that long ago. Like, I don't know. I, once again, I know it's going to climb back up. It's going to, it's kind of like going up and down. But I just wish the best for it. More creativity and more fun and excitement. But I really, really appreciate you guys for all the support. We've been climbing a lot in subscribers since I've been gone. We're very, very close to 600 subs. I really, really appreciate that. That means a lot to me. Um, I wanna keep climbing in subscribers and views and all that type of stuff. Not only that, but my um, videos, the my most popular videos have been gaining a lot of views and that's just so cool to me. It gives me that motivation, it gives me that excitement. It really is cool to me. It's a special kind of feeling that I don't know how to explain because I've never really felt it and I knew I'd always eventually get there and keep climbing from that point on but it's a very special feeling and the thing I can do most is just appreciate you guys for doing it because it wouldn't happen without you guys so once again I really appreciate it I'm gonna keep making the more sneaker videos and I've been thinking of doing other types of videos like sneakers, maybe clothing videos. I just have to find where, um, what and where to review, of course. Let me know what you guys think about the Jordan 4 White Thunder. I would have to rate this shoe a, I would say a 7.5. That's not a bad rating. The reason I give it that rating is because it is a nice, simple black and white Jordan 4. But the main reason why I like it is because it doesn't look like it's just black and white. It has this like black and white movie look to it. If you watch a black and white movie, you know what I'm talking about. It's it's mainly because of how like smooth the quality is or the uh, materials like the suede. And then this white has like a matte color to it. 
it all just smooths out. Let me give Dope Sneakers a 10 out of 10. They're always doing good every time I've had a pair of sneakers from them. I really, really like their website. Go check out the videos where I review their website and their sneakers. Yeah, thank you guys for all the support once again. And with all that said, I'm going to head out. Peace.